Hello and welcome. Today we are going to take a look at the workflow for how to download a file from the Connect Case Center portal uh, as you are logged into your InLab CAD 22 software. So when you first open up the InLab CAD software 22, your home screen that you are on is what's known as order management. So this is the screen that you're able to see all of your dentist cases and your existing patient files as well too. Um, now just next to the order management window, uh, you might have noticed this from InLab uh, 20 and previous versions from that. Uh, it used to be somewhat in the middle of the actual uh, screen here on the order management. However, this little icon right here, this is now where the Connect Case Center portal icon is located. So here, if you select the icon itself, it will take you to the login screen where you will have to, of course, identify your username and your password. Now, just a reminder, your username and your password, it is your lab account. You do not want to sign in if you have a doctor account as well, too, under the portal. You do not want to log into that one. You do want to create a separate login for a laboratory. Now, as well, too, another note to uh, mention here, your username is usually like that of a social media handle, kind of similar to Instagram. It's not based on your email. It is based on a user name so you can see here mine says Michelle DS lab and then my password is uh, input here now just a tip uh, if you select remember password the next time you log in it'll automatically remember your password on the screen uh, so I'm going to select login at this time now and I'm going to be able to log in to the portal to see all my existing files as well as any uh, new ones as well too so here you can see I'm in the screen for the actual uh, Connect portal now. So on the far uh, left hand side here we have new orders highlighted. So anything that's new will show up here. Then we have the next uh, window here which is accepted orders. So all accepted orders because you do have the ability to accept or decline your orders. The reason that somebody might decline an order, let's say the scan might have a gap in it or the margin's not clear, a laboratory has the ability to decline a case from the purchaser that's actually sent it to them. Um, so that's why declined orders does exist. And then the last tab is all orders. So that would combine new accepted and declined orders all in one screen. However, for the new orders here, um, and if ever you have yourself logged in here and a doctor says, hey, I've sent you a case and it doesn't show up right away, you can always select update order list. It'll just refresh your uh, connect portal uh, account page. Um, so at this point, I'm going to highlight the case in question here. As soon as you highlight a case, it'll kind of highlight in that orange color. So you'll see right next to it, there's three available offerings right now. Two are still grayed out because they are unavailable at this time. So the first one, show conversation, that would activate a chat between ourselves and the purchaser. So I'd almost consider it like a Facebook messenger or an Instagram messenger. We're sending messages back and forth to one another. So that would go directly to, let's say, a prime scan DI uh, or a Syracuse system and it would start a conversation. Uh, just next to that is check order. So we're going to select that in just a moment here, but that's where we're actually able to see our scans to ensure that the uh, impressions are adequate for what we need. And it's also going to be where we accept or decline the case accordingly. Uh, but the final option here is show work ticket. So when you select that, what it generates is a PDF uh, to be able to actually print for your uh, case pans. So this would be your prescription. So any of the details that the doctor has provided about the case in question. So when it wants to be returned, uh, the details of what you're specifically work on working on and maybe uh, identifying items things like um, you know the shade or whatever it might be so at this time you can see that there's not anything in particular here that I've noted for this test case however this would be where additional information might be provided so you're able to download or print it from this screen here uh, now the other option here for check order is I can select this option here to be able to identify if I'm going to accept or decline the case So at this point in time, I can see here the purchaser information, I can see the order date, and I can see the patient um, items as well too, as well as who the recipient is and the return date that they'd like it back. Now, if there's any additional instructions from the purchaser, maybe additional recommendations, or maybe they want a foil relief, maybe they have a specific you know, um, shade that they want to note, any of the additional informations from the purchaser themselves will be input here. Now, that would come from their side though. Uh, additionally too, if they were to 
let's say connect, um, you know, items like pictures, JPEGs, PDFs, whatever it might be, any additional files that they've attached to this particular case will show up here under additional files. However, if we want to check the model, this means that we can check the impressions themselves. Now, however fast you can see the converting option here on the bottom, that's just based on internet speed. So if it's a little bit slower, it might just be that your internet might be a little bit slower in your area. Uh, however, usually it goes by pretty quick once you have a good connection uh, to the internet itself. Um, so once it's getting to the prepare view, it's going to allow us to see the impressions here so we can isolate just one arch or we can um, as well to add, um, you know, the upper and the lower or in any additional files that the doctor has sent for this particular case. So here we can see our scan. So the idea is, is that at this point we will know have we got enough information for the case in question. So if it's a crown prep, has the prep been completed? You know, do we have the contacts that we need for the adjacent T, things like that. Um, now, if there were additional um, items like maybe so we can turn on the model base if we prefer, or if we want to remove that, we can. Uh, now, under display objects in this particular demo case, I've been just sent the upper scan. However, if there was additional objects, meaning additional scans they'd all show up here so I'd be able to turn that on if needed as well too if this did have an opposing I can turn on or off my contacts and they'll show up on the occlusal surface accordingly uh, the final step though is where I want to accept or decline the case so if I'm ready to accept I just select the accept option here and then I'm able to now download into the in-lab um, the in-lab system directly now here you can see we've got highlighted now we're in the accepted order window as soon as we accept the case it's going to show us uh, the file here that's now still highlighted and you'll now see the additional option opened up after show work ticket which is download an open case so it's like a half of a rectangle with an arrow pointing down when I select that option it's going to now download that file directly into InLab so that's how you're able to utilize the connect case center portal within the InLab software to directly download your intraoral scans from your doctors utilizing a dense splice rona intraoral scanner directly into the InLab software 22. Moving forward from this portion you'll be able to carry on with the design based on whatever you are designing for this doctor. So be sure to stay tuned for the other videos for you to be able to um, continue on with this design itself. Thank you so much for joining us today.